is it, though, that some people can eat a lot and not gain weight, and some people gain weight, they say, by just looking at certain foods? Yeah, so a lot of it probably has to do with genetics. We know that genetics explains approximately three quarters of the differences in body fatness between individuals. So some people can, some people are just inherently resistant to gaining weight. Other people's, other people are inherently susceptible. And of course that it depends a lot on your diet and lifestyle. So I'm not saying that those are not important. However, genetics are really important and that probably explains a lot of it. I mean, probably most people listening today know someone who has an unhealthy diet and lifestyle and yet has a healthy and attractive body composition. Not so many the, actually people after a certain age, I don't think. It's but, true. It yeah. goes down and down as you age. So that's one of the liabilities of age is that protection starts to wear off. Um, but nevertheless, I mean, you probably do know some people who are heavier even though they work a lot harder at controlling their weight than some other people who are leaner. So, I mean, genetics still plays a role in all of it. Um, and basically, one of the things that it seems to do is it determines how your body reacts to calorie excesses. So, mm. if you overeat, some people are able to burn off some of that excess, and so they don't accumulate it as fat. Still, other people just don't overeat to begin with. They are just more resistant to those same cues that would cause most of us to overeat. Either they have really strong satiety mechanisms, like they feel full very easily, or they are just have lower levels of temptation, like they can have a piece of pie sitting in front of them, or you know, they can have a pie on the table in front of them, and they won't feel that tempted to have more than just a little bit, whereas other people, they have a little bit, and then they want to eat the rest. Um, the only thing I'm aware of that's not genetic that has been linked to weight gain resistance is physical fitness level. So there are studies where they overfeed people and they find that the people who gain the least weight, even though they've eaten excess calories, they tend to be people who have um, physiological markers that suggest that they are more physically fit. And we don't know exactly what the relationship there is. We don't know if that's cause and effect, but there's certainly a correlation there. And I would say, I would speculate that probably being fit does offer some degree of protection against overeating. Against overeating or gaining? Against overeating induced fat gain. But if I remember hearing is that one of the issues when P and we had a Dr. Susan um, Pierce Thompson mm -hmm. on who talked about when she uh, when people are losing weight she tells them not to exercise because the willpower that it takes to um, change your diet will sometimes be um, you know t uh, used up if you also yeah. try and help uh, make yourself exercise so she prefers that you concentrate your willpower and your strategies for behavior change just on eating um, yet you, you talk about how exercise is important for not only maintaining weight, but losing weight. So thank you so much for tuning in today. If we helped you in any way, then click the subscribe button and let's keep hanging out together. We have so much more to share with you. And if you need more information on actually making the switch for good, please visit us at switchforgood.org for loads of info. And you can subscribe to our mailing list where you will receive all sorts of super cool gifts, discount codes to our very fave dairy-free products, and a lifetime of powerful health tips. So join us on the journey to switch for good. This is the future.